Welcome, welcome everyone to your chakra reading for March. Hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay guys, we're going to do this a little different this month. Um, we are actually going to focus on making sure that all seven uh, chakras are balanced. Okay, so making sure that the process that's offered through this situation um, can bring in the healing and assist you with opening up the chakras related to any kind of balance that you need within your life, getting your manifestations, getting your healing, um, feeling the joy um, and the comfort, right? Feeling whole again. Okay, so bringing in the peace as well. So the first card coming out, we're actually using a element card. Um, this card is actually telling you what is going on within your energy. And it's saying that your energy is mutable. You want things to flow. You're feeling like there's something that needs to be changed, but it could be a little stagnant at this time, not flowing the way you want it to flow. So really wanting that to start flowing. First card out, we're going straight through the chakras, as you can see up here, or you can also see on the mat, right? So if we're starting this way, this is going to be that beautiful um, base root chakra, which is starting between the hips um, and the back of your spine right, going all the way up to the crown, right, all the way up to the top of the head, so that's the way we're going, okay, so this right here is talking about the balance that you need for the securities, um, really balancing the, the stability and the securities within your life, um, you know, not being afraid to move, um, not being afraid of anything that um, might seem like it's too big of a change, right, you really want to balance out and even out, um, all of the energies <laughs> that you're thinking, feeling through the emotions. Okay. Next we have relationships. Balancing out those relationships, really talking about those relationships, whether it's relationships that are within the family or your coworkers, within yourself, um, and really bringing those into balance. So Spirit's really talking about balancing the relationships that are going on around you will help you feel that flow really getting going over here so very nice and you know if you're holding any kind of of grudge or any kind of um you know um just bad energy towards someone you really need to figure out how to balance that out right so that it doesn't keep that um sacral chakra from not moving and it's the relationship also maybe that you desire that you really want a relationship with this person or just anyone um, however it is going for you. Everyone has their own story. Then we have the personal power coming in with the solar uh, plexus chakra. And this is talking about that intention. And it's talking about really thinking, guys, about what is the intention that you're looking at? What is so important that you really need to put the personal power into the relationship that you want? Like I said, it doesn't matter if it's a relationship with the work you're doing. Right? Relationships come in many, many forms. It's just how you're um, uniting, right, with either others or whatever the situation may be. But really wanting to bring that to light of that relationship. So, you know, really think about that, though, right? Really think about that. What is on your mind? Using that personal power, how do you want that process to go? What is supporting the situation? What is challenging the situation? And then bringing in that inner strength, you know, to really sharpen the focus, you know, of what kind of, you know, things drain you, what kind of things, you know, empower you, things of this nature. This will actually help you. And it will also help block people from draining your energy, whether it's family um, or friends or anything of this nature as well. So really think about those things. Okay, so that's actually very empowering. <laughs> okay, so the next card coming out is love. I'm going to go way over here because we do have seven cards. <laughs> so we have the love over here. This is the heart sh uh, chakra coming out saying, remember the love. Love and compassion is what makes the world go round. So if you don't love yourself, you know, it's going to make a very big situation go bad and it's not you know so make sure that that heart chakra is open and think about the things that you do love and that you passionately want within your life um, you know make the right the right barriers not the wrong barriers 
right? Make the, the right kind of blockages from people who bring in bad energy to making sure that the, you know, that the right people are not being blocked as well. Okay, so really going after passionately what you want. It actually helps. Now, this is the middle. I would love to just put it here, right, right in the middle, right, and then set the other three down, guys, really, because um, I think it's this right here, you know, is the center of all the chakras. Once the heart chakra is open, everything just starts boom, 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 really moving really, really nice over here like a well-oiled uh, oiled machine, um, but it's not going to work because you won't be able to see the cards. <laughs> So, but the life purpose over here is now we're talking about this throat chakra. You're talking about this life purpose and how you can get the relationship going towards this, having this flow the way you really want to flow. Now you really have to think what is the life purpose within everything that I am doing, bringing all these together as its own affirmation, really bringing in all these questions, really thinking about what it is that I really want, keeping everything really balanced for yourself. This will bring in the clarity, the understanding of the situation. Now, I'm kind of putting them underneath here because the clarity is really going to come, right? The balance and the life purpose is really going to be here together, right, underneath this area. And then once we bring in the third eye, it's going to say yes because the third eye is constantly thinking about what it is that your desire and the intention really is. So you're going to become more clear about the desire and the intention, the relationships with the personal power, right? And really giving that personal power to the intention of what it is you want. So it's very, very important that it actually sits this way. See, it's already coming together. That's why the love couldn't be here. That's why the, you know, because it's really saying this is the way it's really working because in actuality, then the crown is going to open and it's gonna, because of the love heart chakra, and because the way you're communicating the life purpose and the things that you really want, it's really going to go from here and shoot all the way over here into the overall understanding and unity of not just yourself, but what your higher self wants as well. And really completing that and bringing those together. Because as soon as you get passionate and compassionate with your heart, then all the understanding is really going to go ba-boom, right? Because now you have the clarity and the understanding. And then the heart says, yeah, because I want it this way. And then your higher self says, oh, yeah, I got that. I totally understand. It makes sense. And this is how they're all balanced. Now, see, now you're balanced. Strangely, right? To you, you'd be like, how? How does that make you? Because it brings in the peace. It brings in the peace. And the peace is through understanding. Understanding is through peace. Because then you're not harboring all the negative. As soon as you become clear about the situation, things start going away. Once you bring the love in, the negative starts going away because of the positive coming through, through the heart chakra. Right? Then you can get down to, you know, you're communicating to yourself, saying this is what the overall life purpose is. This is the overall understanding and communicating that, using that creativity, really using that as also an understanding tool. It's also a lot of your... <clears throat> excuse me, some of your um, analytical thinking will also come into play as well because the more you start communicating it, the more it's going to make the mind go, right? So then you're going to say, oh, okay, so this is like kind of your own monkey mind over here, just kind of, you know, a little computer, and then it starts opening up the higher self going, oh, yeah, I get that. Light bulb, higher intuition pops in. Oh, yeah, I got that. Okay, so, and this is where you become very calm. Because once that higher understanding and everything starts coming through and the clarity and the love starts coming through, you're going to radiate at a higher vibration and then everything's going to become very clear about how you're going to get through the situation, how you're going to get to the intention, how you're going to make things happen. You're not going to feel stuck now. You can actually move and you'll feel now like that water is making that movement and now you're going to feel like you're going with the flow instead of against it, right? Or feeling like you're just stagnant and not moving. Okay, so let's see what's going on over here. You're gonna have a very calm, easy mind and feeling. And your emotions are going to be so much different as well. bringing 
bringing that powerful three of yourself into um, one. But in, in a lot of ways, guys, this is actually going to be kind of a powerful four in its own way because um, you're really going to use the mind, body, emotion, and spirit in this one. Um, really getting that down. Yep, because there's, there's things that everybody in the world wants, and we want that chariot to really start moving and getting activated, right? We don't want the chariot to just sit over there in the sky, you know, and just do whatever it's going to do. This energy that's just kind of, you know, kind of buzzing around, but maybe it doesn't feel like it's buzzing around me. <laughs> you know, it's like, where is that chariot, you know? And for some of you might be like, and I, I think I just seen it buzz by me, like literally like, like he didn't stop, right? It was kind of like Santa didn't stop at my house. What the heck? He just buzzed right by. I didn't even get coal or nothing. You know what I mean? Like I didn't get nothing. Um, you know, and it's kind of feeling like that's kind of the sadness, you know, is it's kind of like, because I don't understand how I'm going to get this energy to do what I want it to do. How do I move into this direction? And this is what the life purpose of the chariot is going to move you into that blessing. It's going to move you into this area um, where you're feeling more peace, more joy within yourself or within your relationships. Like I said, whatever the relationship is, um, everybody's relationship is different. Um, but you're definitely going to feel like it is going the way you need it to go and really getting balanced and getting ready to manifest as well so that you can get that chariot and it's coming out on top of that desire and intention, of course. Right, so now I can feel like my prayers are answered. I can feel like the magic is happening, um, manifesting, law and attraction, however, prayers, right? However you want to see it, I'm winning. Many people see it as different ways. Um, but however it is, it's really taking that action and seeing the action come back. Um, right? So it's going to be kind of like we're talking about the water energy over here. Now it's going to feel more like the water went, you know, out to the ocean and then came back into the ocean, you know, back and forth, back and forth. And you feel like that's, you know, you feel, the, and that's more of a balance. Instead of just sitting on some stagnant pond um, that has a bunch of mosquitoes and uh, dragonflies living in it, right? Maybe a frog here and there. <laughs> Um, but you're actually going to feel that flow, the naturalness. And that's where the action is being taken place. So then receding water to get more water back. That's what the natural flow is. Um, yes, and it's going to allow you to now open up to patient, patiently plan what it is you need to plan. Really opening you up to the understanding also that the seeds that you plant will ripen. But remember, friends, the better seeds you plant, the better fruit you get. So if you're only planting, you know, maybe the seed's too dry, maybe the seed's too small, maybe the seed's too withered, maybe there's something kind of weird and mutatable about the seed, right? It doesn't seem whole. It doesn't seem rich enough. Maybe even the soil you put the seed in isn't rich enough either. But better yet, always say that the richer the soil, the better the seed, the better the reward. Um, you by doing that is by using that personal power and really opening up that heart chakra. And like I said, the more clarity and understanding you have, the better you plant those seeds. The life purpose is that with the action comes the reward. It's the law of attraction. The law of attraction cannot be changed. It's unchangeable. You can't change it. I can't change it. It is what it is. That's why it's called the law. It's the law of the universe. So therefore, when you're going after the life purpose that you're doing, you want to make sure that you are planting the best seeds in the best rich soil. The rich soil that you put it in is up to you um, on how positive it is. Remember, even if you law and attract negative, you get negative back, right? Yeah, you don't want to do that. <laughs> the five of cups, thank you. <laughs> yeah, don't want to do that. Don't do that. We don't need sadness. No, what you want is to be recognized for the hard work, the good energy, all the things that you're planting, so that way you can get the powerful three back within yourself. 
um, you know, and really putting that out there into the universe of what it is you really want and really keeping these chakras balanced. The more balanced you are, the better you feel, the higher frequencies you're, you're going after and you're attaining. <clears throat> Being generous to yourself. Let's not forget about that. Now that's coming underneath the crown chakra and the heart chakra. Why? Because the generosity to yourself is the self-love that you attain making sure you do have the self-love and the compassion, not only to others, but unto yourself. Um, the problem with a lot of people is we want to give it to everybody else and we forgot to, we forget to feed ourselves. <laughs> Maybe that's what this is too. Don't forget to plant the seeds to yourself, my friends. You know, we give all the love and the compassion everywhere else. Just remember those who live passionately teach us how to love and those who love passionately teach us how to live. we don't remember these things, then we're not giving back to ourselves. We always have to make sure that we do give back to ourselves. We are very important, just as everybody else. Okay? And these things will help you, right, stay balanced. So I'm getting a moon card over here. I don't think I need this card. I put that out, but I don't think it's needed, my friends. thinking about giving you a daily healing card, but I did do them already within the mid-month and the beginning of the month, so maybe we just won't do that. <clears throat> Give you too many healing cards, you won't know which one to go on, right? <laughs> okay. Most important card is see the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. Always see it from a bigger picture. Always, right? Always. And I love that because that could also be the three of coins over here. I don't know if that'll fit there, but that's fine. That could also be seen as three of coins because remember, we're realizations, hard work, and recognition. Um, if we see it from a bigger picture, then that gives us that opportunity to perceive things, step back, look at it from a different perception. Um, because maybe that was one of the, you know, problems to begin with is, you know, with, within the clarity, we can always see things from a different pers uh, perspective, right? And maybe even dealing with relationships around you, maybe you need to look at it from their perspective as well. So maybe you need to step back, kind of get into their shoes a little bit and see what the heck they're looking at, right? Because everybody's perspectiveness um is different. Um, the way people see things, people's opinions, because um, hindsight is only 20-20. Everybody uses their brain a little different. So if you are having some kind of relationship issue with someone, maybe you want to write that down, what they're trying to talk about, and then see maybe what the issue is, and then kind of see it from the clear side of what they're seeing it from. And then you can make observations of how to clear that situation um, by kind of seeing it their way. And then that will help you get back together because then you can say, oh, I see what you're saying, but it's not... Boy, is that not the way I, I seen it. <laughs> but you also have to know, though, too, um, making sure that you write down kind of the pros and cons and making sure that they're not just trying to deceive you, because I just heard that, thank you, Spirit, making sure that you are perceiving it, making sure that it is real clarity um, when they are doing things from a different picture. Is it deceit, or is it just the way that they're perceiving something, right? Because you don't want to give somebody uh, the opportunity um, to sit around and tell them that they're right when they're actually, it's all deceit, right? So making sure that you're really perceiving that, really looking at it from two different kinds of views. I mean, if you really know through your clarity that they're deceiving you, then you're going to have to get it through a different picture to, to figure out the new works and new ways of walking around that and getting to that purpose. But unfortunately, through chakra healings and balance, you do have your own what we call self-homework. Um, right? Because you really have to dig deep um, through reflectiveness, and you might even want to do shadow work to help you um, if things are a little unclear. Okay, so you can always do that as well, okay, in case you're missing something. Okay, and that was it for you, my friends, and I hope that was helpful. And until next time, peace and love, my friends. Bye-bye.